Hello and welcome back to Blue Debbie. This is episode 127 of my Dire Wolf 21.18 Let's Play. Oh yeah. Um, today we're going to go even further into Blood Magic. So let's get started. As you can see over there probably, I've been doing a little bit of prep work uh, for... The blood altar upgrades. <laughs> I kind of prepared the area for the next few upgrades a little bit. Um, <laughs> yeah, I I also took a little bit of time. I had to move the uh, quantum ring. Uh, hopefully, this is a un unobstructive. <laughs> I tried to go around where the uh, next levels were going to be. I think this is the proper layout. I didn't use the template or anything, so this could be wrong. <laughs> it could be one further out, but I think I think it's right. Uh, and this fit like perfectly in this thing. I'm just like that's where the beacons for the tier 5 are going to go. So Hopefully that's the right way. <laughs> and I spent a little bit of time and I, I got the uh, automations working. I'm going to try, I've tried something a little bit different. I don't know if it's going to work. Um, I added some bottles to... I don't think it's working. It's working, bro. It's not pulling in. Um, it's not pulling in the bottles. I thought I pulled it. I thought I pulled it. Pulling the bottles. There they are yes. I told it to pull in the glass bottles. I don't know why that's not working. Um, let me try putting it in manually to see if it's a valid recipe or something. I don't know, I thought, uh, yeah, it can go in there. I don't know why it's not, it's not putting it in. Um, did I have the extract? Yeah, the extract card doesn't have a filter on it. Oh, I guess, uh, because it must have gotten... 31. Yeah, so it's not going to send the next thing in uh, because I haven't told it what it needs to, to find. There we go. Oh, it already took it in. Okay, so I have to kind of adjust to tell it to look for this now, like on the sensor. I only want to keep a few of them in. Ah, wrong button. Like, uh, maybe 16. That's probably overkill as well, <laughs> but, or let's do 15. And then we'll have it, um, stock. I already have it stocking 16. So I think that will be perfect. Oh, uh, why do I have two? What's for orange? One's for orange. Uh, this one's redstone controlled. And this one's not. Oh, yeah. I think I may have two. Uh, yeah, I might not need that one. I don't know why I had that. I had two in there on the same channel with the same things. Hmm. Okay, well, odd. Uh, but hopefully that will um, now detect that I need those and they will start putting in there. Um, let me try to give it... Got 3,400. I did add another level of amplify to my heel so if I'm at three hearts it usually you know uh, 
fills it up like boom or pretty close. Uh, there are a couple of things I want to work on today. Um, I want to work on the tier three altar. Okay, so that now has 32. I thought it wouldn't have put in another stone. Oh, I bet you it's going to keep putting in stone because it's now looking for water bottles but it's not. <laughs> I don't have a condition for the water bottles on there. Uh, yeah, I think the, the water bottles messed everything up. So I might have to just take that out. Uh, because they're not the stone, so it, I don't know, it just does it differently. Uh, so I might have to do those manually. Um, and just have it... Uh, let's see. Uh, no, it was on the insert. I think that it was filtered. So we'll just take that out. Let's see if that helps. Uh, yeah, it's not pulling it in, but it's not supposed to be having the last one in there. All right, so I'll quit fiddling with that. I will mess with that, uh, you know, some other time. But they, there's alchemy in uh, blood magic, and it looks like they may have done some alterations to it so I kind of wanted to check that out too. Uh, I added a storage bus here so I can see all the stuff. If I type in at blood it shows all the stuff in this chest because that's the only blood magic I have in my network. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I can use the recipes in in my crafting terminal and use all the stuff that's our that I'm being auto crafted over here so that's pretty cool um all right well <laughs> to get things off up and running um Jake reminded me that of the incense altars which will help with the self-sacrificing. Uh, it will kind of give a boost. And also in upgrading to the tier three altar with runes of self-sacrifice, that will also help increase the amount every time we get a little prick. So <laughs> uh, those are two things I want to work on. And if we have enough time, I'd also like to do the sentient sword and just get our tier three orb and the ability to make the imbued slate, which is the tier three slate, and it costs 5,000 life points. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so that is quite a lot. That boosts it up to like 8,000 total for the imbued slate. Uh, so yikes, yikes. Um, <laughs> But we can do it. Um, these uh, incense altars are pretty easy. It's just some stone, some cobblestone, and a bit of charcoal. Ooh, it looks like it's specifically charcoal and not coal. So uh, I may not have charcoal. I could have swore I had a way to make it, but I think I removed it and haven't put it back yet. So, oh, um, what I could do though is just bop over there real quick into the underground base and uh, take some wood. Actually, I know exactly where it's at. There you go. Just grab a whole stack and 
put in this smelting factory real quick and that'll get us some charcoal. <laughs> um, and then we can get a couple, um, I want to put a couple around even if I only use one. Um, just because I think they look cool <laughs> and I think it'd make like a nice decoration. I uh, actually, I was going to put a third one here, but decided not to. So maybe I'll just use the one. So let's do that. An incense altar. Um, uh, dude, I, I just made some charcoal. Oh, dude, I know what's happening. It's like, <laughs> I completely forgot um, because I removed the ability to make charcoal. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. Um, I have my pneumatic craft system is run on charcoal. And since I removed the ability to... What? What is going on? I have no power over here. Uh, I must have... Oh, I took all the uranium out. Took all the uranium out. So, uh, yeah, this thing is run out of power. So, I need to just get that on. And that should bring it back up. <laughs> yeah, that was one of the first things I offloaded, uh, but, oh, look, I can craft. Let's just get some here. There we go, and I'll just grab a couple. Um, I'm assuming that I finished uh, unloading all the stuff since I'm completely out of uranium over there. Uh, and I need to go empty those uh, exporters, filters, and reload them with something else. So that, yeah, do the thing. So let's get an incense altar. Oh, yeah, that is good. Um, let's put you back in there. All right, just in case I want some more. Oh, what? What the heck? Oh, it pulled it right out of the system. That jerk. <laughs> it took my charcoal I was putting in there to save it, and instead it pulled it out and put it in the system. Okay. Incense altars. Like, I don't even remember. Uh, this isn't something that was in the original Blood Magic. It's something that was uh, recently added. Uh, it was in ocean block i remember using it in the ocean block but i think it was around before then but just hadn't been fully implemented i think i'm not 100 percent certain um what did i come in here for uh, the, book. the book must have knowledge uh yeah, I don't, I don't think we'll actually need these today. I'm not sure. So we'll leave them in there for a second. So let's um, look at incense. Is it going to be in here? Cheers and Slate, Soul Network, Redstone and Automation, Alchemy Rays, Dungeon. Oh, here we go. Incense Altar. The Incense Altar is a multi-block structure that can be used to boost your self-sacrificing at a blood altar. By standing near your setup, the Incense Altar will calm your soul based on the area's total tranquility, allowing you to significantly increase your LP gain. Now this is pretty cool because it's a multi-block structure, but it's it's not. All you need is this one block, and then you can totally customize your whole altar based on your taste and and whatever. Uh, so, oh, I forgot about this part. Uh, 
basic setup showing the three by three square of blocks before the path blocks. Oh, I forgot about having to put the blocks, the certain type of blocks around there. Uh, the basic tier one setup of an incense altar is the altar itself. Place it down anywhere. You may want to set up a three by three block platform. This will be helpful later and stay within a five block radius of the altar. While the altar is working, it will emit flame particles from its top and transform your sacrificial knife. Once your knife starts to shine, holding and releasing right click near a blood altar, uh, will sacrifice 90% of your health all at once. Uh, so that is cool because you can get all of the those pricks in like one big poke. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. What's more, based on the total tranquility of the area, you will receive a bonus to the life points added to the blood altar. So what it's basically saying is that the more calm and willing you are to sacrifice your own blood, <laughs> the better your blood is because your blood is tranquil and not um, chaotic, I guess, <laughs> or anything. So uh, hovering over the incense altar with either... Ah! Dude, why? Oh, how rude. Um, I was totally in the zone. He like... <laughs> Yeah, you take that knot back, buddy. Ha ha! Okay. Oh! Dude. Man, what is up? Okay, I think I think I can do it now. Oh, dude, I lost my I lost my bed. There it is. Huh. Okay. Whoo. Awesome. Okay, now we're 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 back. Uh, so we don't really need oh my gosh stupid zombie i hear another one dying i really need to like oh my goodness um I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Woo, doggies. That was scary. Um, wow, lots of armor. Um, let me get back up. <laughs> oh boy, okay. Uh, so technically it is working now. Uh, all you have to do is place it down and it will work. Um, can I? Oh, uh, so just placing it down with really nothing, no effort, you're getting a plus 20% bonus. Oh, and look, my sacrificial dagger is now warmed up. <laughs> uh, so I can, wait, wait a minute. Okay, so if it's at 5200, I think I was getting around... 100 or 200 before so we're at 5200 oh look at that oops gotta get the, the heal uh so how much did that give us look at that almost 2000 life points with one <laughs> one click oh that is so good that's what I'm talking about. 
Okay. Um, and it's ready to go again. Uh, but the thing is, we got like all the runes in here that that we need. Uh, so I'm going to like do some uh, little clean up here. Get all that extra stuff out, out of the inventory. Uh, I would really <laughs> like to get, you know, my different areas hooked up uh, to the system as well. Like I have things that I only mm -hmm. have over here in Batania, over in Batania, and I would like to be able to just access everything. Uh, that's the dream. Oh my goodness, okay. Uh, so we should be able to make some runes of self-sacrifice pretty easily, I am hoping. So let's get this open. And uh, first of all, we need some blank runes. And we have four sides and five blocks each side. So that's 20 slates. So right off the bat, we're going to be using 20 blank slates. Uh, one, two, three, four. Let's get 20, boom, okay, uh, and then we can do this and just get our 20 runes right off the bat because we had it going on. There we go. Um, I, I don't know where that is. Yeah, I did not put that orb back in here so that's kind of saddening uh but yeah look it's already started putting things in and that is great let's see how much does it have 4300 so we should be at like 6200 ish there we go heal um this oh yeah i forgot uh <laughs> it's going to be uh draining it as well so that is cool that is so good um i love it so now it's going to start making them fill all this stuff up again which is groovy uh but now i can go down here and replace these blocks let me grab one with my exchanging gadget here. Um, eep. And then I can just upgrade these little guys. And this will give us our tier three altar. Because I had spent all that time upgrading those things uh, or trying to work out the kinks of my automation, I had all that stuff uh, ready to go. So that is good. Yay! Oh, wow, look at how much. Oh, dude, <laughs> did you see how much it, it filled it up completely? Woo! Um, and I think once you get to the tier three altar, you can uh, upgrade all of these. Uh, I think with the tier two, you can only upgrade the cardinal ones and not the corners but i don't know they may have changed that uh, that was like an old an old thing i think uh, so now i need to find out how much do we get per hit with this upgrade it looked like quite a bit <laughs> so let's see uh once it goes down Oh, it just threw in another one. So it must have been just over 5,000. And plus I'll have to uh, update this to add the new slate. Okay, here we go. It's at, at 4,000 exactly. 
So let's see. Um, it's going to be pretty because it's going to start crafting as soon as I do this. Oh, it filled it up. Filled it up completely and probably had more, uh, <laughs> more use. So that is crazy. Oh, that was a lot of, uh, that was a lot of extra juice. Um, doing that made a huge difference and you can see it's a tier three altar. Oh, but since we're getting so much blood per, per hit, I would definitely like to try and increase the capacity so that if it's under 5,000 and I hit it, it doesn't just fill it up. It has a little bit more, a little bit more room, you know? Uh, so there are runes of, of capacities. Um, yeah, they have different runes. They have speed runes, runes of sacrifice, self-sacrifice, a displacement rune. I don't really know what that is. A rune of capacity, a rune of augmented capacity, rune of orb, acceleration rune, and a charging rune. And these are rich ritual stones um oh these look so cool okay reaction chamber demon crucible demon pylon and they're reinforced runes um so maybe we want to do just plain old rune of capacity let's look at the book that's what i was doing before i was so rudely interrupted uh what is this incense hud default in top left corner showing a self-sacrifice bonus of plus 20 percent oh it's in the upper uh does it sh like i can't see it but um uh, how do i move the mini map hmm not certain I think I should be able to do it. Can I look at settings? There we go. Um, let's, uh, we can just turn the mini map off. Enabled false check. Uh, yeah, I don't, I'm not seeing the HUD. Oh, seeing this, if you have the Sears uh, or the Divid, the divination sigil in your hand, then you can see the bonus if you're looking at the incense altar. Awesome. Okay. Um, so <laughs> I wanted to look at the rooms of capacity. Let's see what else this has to say. But wait, how can I increase this bonus? Why? By increasing the tranquility of the surrounding area. That may be a bit ambiguous. To increase the tranquility of the area, you must place paths leading out from your incense altar. These paths need to be constructed from a three-wide set of path blocks, such as the wooden path, that extend from the three-by-three three set of solid reference blocks in all four cardinal directions. Okay, so uh, now that we have the incense thing, uh, we have to, like, just placing it down is the tier one. Uh, but using, I guess, the uh, structural blocks, like, we could put it over here, I guess. What, what is... Uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see. Oh, dude. Okay, so... Let's pick this guy up, and if we, uh, if we do it like this, I think you can have like the base core blocks around here uh, be anything, I think. And, oop, nope, uh, 
that's not what I wanted to do. All right, so then, but I need the path blocks, but that would, I would only be able to like go off in this direction. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, so we'll do that another time. Uh, but we do have, we have our tier three altar and we have the incense altar going on. Um, let's see about getting our tier three orb, upgrading our orb and getting the imbued slate. What is the, the tier three orb? Orb. All right, so we had the, oh, my orb, orb, uh, the weak blood orb in here. I wonder, is, oh, I think if I specified what to store in here, it might pull everything out. I don't know. Like if I wanted to specifically store my blood orbs over here, would it always put it back in there if I did that? Like if I used it for a recipe, put it in here, would it, would it throw it? Oh, that is so good. So now it knows to throw that blood orb back in here. Oh, that is good. So that way, if I accidentally use it in a recipe, it will wind up back in here <laughs> instead of somewhere in the system. That's really nice. Okay, so we have this one and this one. Is the Magician's Blood Orb next? Oh, yeah, that looks right. A block of gold and 25,000 LP. Holy cow. <laughs> Holy cow. Uh, 25,000. We only have 10, but... Uh, we, we have the incense altar and the runes of self-sacrifice that I am confident that we should be able to do this. This is like one of the hardest ones to get going <laughs> on blood magic because this is like the first leap of, of LP. <laughs> 25,000 LP and you can only hold 10 in your thing so you have to be able to uh, get life points pretty quickly otherwise this thing will start uh, fizzling kind of and it will wait for your blood but it will continuously be resetting or something. I know Way back when Blood Magic first came out, I failed my first time doing this. <laughs> and and yes, it was a very learning experience. So let's hit it. Oh, dude, I forgot that it's going to throw in the stone. Oh, man. It ruined everything. So um, that's what I'm going to have to do is wait for this to uh, drain it down to under 5,000 and then go from there. <laughs> uh, stick the gold in and then hit it. Oh, darn it. I forgot. Um, so I might... I know you're supposed to stay within five blocks. If I move that out three more, that would just barely be a range, I think. So I don't know if I want to do that, uh, but what are the path blocks? Path. Uh, we have wooden paths, stone paths, I think this one I can do once I get the Magician's Blood Orb. Okay, it looks like it's ready now. Let's throw that in. Give it a hit. Um, get my little doodad out. Oh yeah, look at how fast it's draining. 
Uh, but we are able to keep up because of all the super duper <laughs> runes and self sacrifice. Uh, we're full life. So let's go ahead and hit it. Yeah, with that incense altar and being able to get a big hit like that all at once and not having to go, oh my god, oh my god, can I click this enough times <laughs> to keep it going? That makes such a huge difference. I love it. Um, how are you doing? Alright, let's go ahead. Boink. Ah, oh, there we go. Look at that. The Magician's Blood Orb. What? Okay. There we are. We got our Magician's Blood Orb. And our Runes of Self-Sacrifice. All we need is to try and figure out how to do... The imbued slate, but I just looked at the time. Oh my goodness, I am over on the time. So maybe we'll try to get the uh, the sentient sword and the imbued slate going next time. Or, I mean, the imbued slate isn't that big of a deal. It's just setting it up over here uh, in these little guys to, to get it to look for it use the sensors uh to to count and stuff uh, yeah so that's what i'm gonna be doing <laughs> i'll probably go ahead and set that up off camera and just modify this a little bit so that's all i have to do and then we can we can try and get our sentient sword because we're gonna have to do the chow fruit we're gonna have to go to the demon realm that's all really cool new stuff uh that they have added to uh blood magic and i watched dire wolf's videos they've even changed it since i did it in ocean block uh, so they've added more dungeons and stuff and made it a lot cooler <laughs> so I'm looking forward to doing that. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!